Hey, I'm Angus. I'm Julia. And we're Angus and Julia Stone. And you are watching the AU Review. When were we here last? We were here last. We played at the House of Blues just down the road from here. Um, probably about five or six blocks from here. And it was with a young fella. He was our support called Connie Youngblood, who's from around this neck of the woods. It was a good show. It was the first show, actually, of our American tour about six months ago. And now you're back after conquering the world three times around. We just say you came back from Lebanon, of all places, you know, and, and then you did Oceaga yesterday. What's, what's the, the last couple of weeks been like? It sounds like you've been to some pretty, pretty incredible places. Yeah, we've um, been leapfrogging around. Uh, we went to Beirut. And before that, we were in Switzerland and Helsinki and playing some really cool festivals in Germany. Um, I don't know, everywhere has been pretty awesome. Yeah, it's been good. They, they do it well. There's always some sort of feature to the, the festivals in Europe. You know, like one is right by Lake Geneva. So you get to arrive and then swim in the lake and then... Um, they have, you know, jacuzzi set up backstage. I mean, it's crazy, some of the stuff they do. It's like you're at a day spa meets uh, a festival. So you've got the bass pumping while you're sitting in the jacuzzi, <laughs> waiting to go on stage. That sounds absolutely great. I mean, we've, it's there awful. are massages back here. I know. I thought that uh, this was pretty luxurious. This pretty, just sounds amazing. Pretty good. It's kind of hard, though, because, you know, you do that stuff and it makes you uh, a little bit tired. You kind mm. of feel like it's bedtime after a massage or a jacuzzi session. And then you've got to go out and play the show. It's a real bummer. When you're on the road and you're playing these festivals and doing these shows, do you actually get to see any music? Like, do you get to actually go out and experience much? Or is it pretty much doing interviews onto the next thing, onto the next plane, onto the next show? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Last night we played um, it's kind of like a sideshow and we got to see a guy called Shaky Graves and it was really fucking cool like it was a good show and I think those moments where you get to s sneak in the front and, and watch you know someone that you've never I'd never heard of him and and then you see them live for the first time it's um I don't know I like those moments it's cool and how was the reception for you uh, you know playing a playing a headline sideshow at uh at Lollapalooza it was cool, it was pretty crazy, like everyone was pretty loose after the festival. And <laughs> the, the show didn't start until uh, 12.30 in the evening, so you can imagine post-festival uh, <laughs> bar show. There was some inebriation in the crowd. Yeah. Was a li yeah. <laughs> and, how, and how are you guys feeling? I mean, you'd just come in from Montreal, before then just from Lebanon. Pretty zonked. We had, um, had a big flight. And uh, someone lost their bags and got <laughs> caught in customs. And, um, but yeah, I don't know. It's, there's a little bit of lag, but... Um, Sometimes that's good, though. I mean, there's occasionally um, being a little bit a zone in another zone, the sleepy zone. Uh, it, it adds a different element to the show. So it was kind of fun last night. It was, it was a tough show in terms of just the the gear and the PA and the sound, but we we're all in the same kind of, we all were in it together, you know, and sometimes as a band, you really feel that um, you're all looking at each other like, yeah, this is kind of fucked, but let's do it. <laughs> yeah, a certain amount of delirium sometimes makes for a good show, for sure. Tell me a little bit about the, the, the band that you've got on the road with you. I don't know, these guys we've had with us, some of them we've had with us for a while, and um, some, of the, some of the players are new that we've, um, we've picked up along the way. Um, I don't know. They're all absolutely incredible musicians and and really cool people to be around. Um, There's a couple of boys from Australia, and then a couple of guys from the states. So Angus's solo band um, had we got Rob Calder who played bass with Angus, and um, he's been with us for a while. And then John Solo on keys, Ben Edgar on guitar. And Danny Ferugia on the drums. It's a pretty good outfit. It's is it, is it great all tidy. Travel, traveling together? <laughs> the, 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 the Stone family on the road. <laughs> They're a good crew, like really lovely people. And um, everybody as well is in the place, I think, in their lives where staying healthy and 
uh, is, is kind of important and everyone's to it a lot so knows how to how to manage it and so there's a little running team that go running every day and um, the foodies yeah there's a foodie team foodie <laughs> team there's a coffee team coffee team and then there's just like a slob team that like <laughs> <laughs> sleeps in there's a lazy team and um, sounds like you got all bases covered in any yeah case. you can join any team on any <laughs> given day depending on how you feel and it's all going to be good it all just flows very nicely. Yeah.